Here it is. Heater. Typically, I don't give a crap about heaters. I don't have them in any of my other cars. Never put them in before. But this car, I intend on wanting to drive in winter. And well, winter in Minnesota can be a brutal, brutal bitch. If I can get just a smidge of warmth, keep my windshield from freezing up on me, I'm gonna do it. Oh, look at that. Hello? Anybody there? Hello? Nope, 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 nobody's home. Wow, there's a lot of parts and pieces for this. What I'm really hoping for is they send a template. Warranty card. Instructions. Uh-huh, hi, yep. Seems pretty basic. Plumbing in, plumbing out, wiring. Nothing for the mounting of it. Okie dokie. I'm not, I'm not char charging, please read. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have AC, it's just heat. Oh, let's get this little guy out of here now. Uh-oh, I'm already dropping stuff. What was that? I don't know. That's fine. So here's the unit. It's actually really, you know, it's compact, which is perfect. This is vintage air. I know they make all kinds of cool stuff, but this is probably one of the cheapest things they sell. Because all it is is a heater core and a fan and some controls. That's pretty snazzy. I want to mount this on the firewall up above the trans tunnel, which is why I haven't finished building my doghouse yet. Because I didn't know exactly how much area this was going to consume. Not exactly sure how to mount this yet. Obviously, it's got four holes here, and I, if I had, you know, done this before I did everything else, I could have put this up in there and rib nutted it, and it'd been good to go. But that's that's not an option anymore. I don't think. Maybe it is. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. Let me figure it out. Let me come up with a plan. So this section of firewall right in the center here is where I kind of planned on putting it. Maybe I still could get up there with the drill, drill some holes and some rib nuts. Maybe that's still a viable option. I, otherwise I was gonna have to like build something out here, attach it to that, and then weld it in there. That was my other option. Let me, uh, let's, let's get it and put it up in there and see how she looks. All right, let's see here. How much space do we actually need? Okay, right, so it's gonna have to be spaced out from the wall because if you look over here, I mean, those are, I don't know if you can see without the light, but these fittings right here, they are like tight. Well, maybe they would go. I mean, that's basically where I want it, right there. Those top two ones would be kind of a pain, but not completely undoable. I mean, they're just going to suck in general because it's behind that little thing up there. Maybe. I got an idea. Well, my plan is starting to come together here. I've got this eighth inch flat stock I've been kicking around for a while. I'm going to take and just weld studs to this. This will bolt to that. That will weld to my firewall. That will space everything out far enough so I'm not having any clearance issues with my outlets and inlets here. And then it'll just, I mean, it's, it'll make insulation just that much easier because this, there's a hole back here that's in there. That you, I don't, I don't even know how you're supposed to get to it. It's, it's down in here. I mean, I guess you could come in from the top. It's, what a pain! The rest of them all seem pretty easy, but that one's a royal pain by the looks of it. I'm gonna bolt it together and then just kind of tack it up in there and see how we look. So I think that's that's the direction we're gonna go with it. Hell yeah, I like it. I'll take it. Get off before you melt. Well, isn't that cool? Beautiful! Oh, we missed that one, didn't we? Oh, 
Was that the right way to figure all that out? Nope, of course not. Did it work? Sure it did. It'll be good enough. So before we go and get this, you know, all welded up and mounted up in here, I gotta make holes for where the hoses come through. Otherwise, how can the antifreeze get to the heat? The heat? Otherwise, how can the antifreeze get to the heater core to therefore give me heat so I'm nice and cozy in there in the winter time? Because I like to be warm. So my thinking is roughly right in this general area. I should have, I mean, I got plenty of room here for the hoses. They can kind of come up or however they're gonna route and go right in this general area. It'd be nice to have them over here farther, but on the inside of my computer and all that's mounted in there, so that's just really not a good option. I think my best option is gonna be right through here somewhere. Just wanna double check, you know, as long as I don't drill through my uh, dipstick there, that should be all right. I just gotta figure out, you know, how low can I go? How low can you go? Never mind, I'll stop. Cause you know, a guy's, a guy's gonna wanna be able to get the line on there, so if it's too low, you won't be able to make that corner. We gotta figure that part out. Maybe I should measure up from the outside and that'll help me determine the inside. Five inches, five and a half inches from the bottom? Be about the max, huh? Unless I can force this out of the way some more. Maybe five and a quarter. What the difference as the professionals say? All right. Boy, that's way up there. I should mark that. That seems like a smart idea. Get over here. Yep, okay. Which means... This thing's gonna be about maxed up in height there. I don't think there's any issues with any of it. I mean, I got plenty of room. And this is gonna push my mounting holes a little high. A little, little high. So I did some refiguring out on the engine compartment side and I think I can go underneath the transmission dipstick for one of them and above for the other, which gives me a whole lot more room to work with. And I like that. I like room. What I think I'm gonna do, cause these are three inches apart. Get you out of the way. Right there and right there. And I'm going inch away. That's how I'm figuring it out. That's the decision I'm making. And that's what we're doing. If it's wrong, you'll find out and I'll fix it. Yeah, that one walked a little bit, but we'll make up for it. It'll be fine. Not worried at all. I wonder how big of a hole these need to be. Oh, I should probably make sure those wires on the other side aren't getting hit. Cause that would suck. Oh yeah, we're, we're golden, no problem. Wasn't even worried about it much. I don't fit. Yep, that don't work. Maybe I can get that from the other side. Woo! So the kit actually does come with grommets. Probably should have checked that first. Um, the only downside is I actually read the instructions and it, it doesn't doesn't say how big of a hole to drill, so we'll just keep going bigger until it looks like it's gonna work or I run out of drill bits, I guess. I, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I, yeah, that's about it. Yep. Definitely don't think that's big enough for the grommet. I don't know, I don't know how big you're supposed to go. Doesn't tell you anything. I mean, it's a 15, 16 hole. Let's step up to a hole saw. I don't know. Okay, so I, I made my third, maybe fourth trip to the local hardware slash parts store today. Hopefully I got everything I need now because they all start closing here in the next half hour. And then I'm screwed till tomorrow or the next day unless I want a road trip out of town, which 
I don't really feel like doing. So there, that works good. Now, as long as those tubes go through the holes like they're supposed to, we should be golden. I mean, that'll be fine, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that'll be fine. I'm convincing myself, not you. They look like they line up. We're going with it. Hell yeah. All right, let's go. So I got the heater bolted to these brackets I made that I'm gonna weld to the firewall. And I think I'm just gonna put the tubes on here that go through the firewall now, just to ensure when I put it all up there, everything is supposed Everything is where it's supposed to be. Because knowing me, no matter how much I measure and where I measure from and how I do it, if I go and weld this up there and go to put those tubes on, it's gonna be wrong. I already know this. So I'm gonna save myself from that agony and try and do it this way. I don't know that it's gonna work that way, but I'm gonna try. I, I don't know, we'll see. I might need to get some more hands out here though, cause this is, I mean, to hold, I mean, it's not heavy, but it's, Laying on your back, hold, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky. We'll see, we'll see what we can do. It even comes with lube here, it's not even, I gotta cut it open, what the heck? Absolutely lube it up. Everything's better when it's slippery anyways. I'm not gonna crank these down tight though until I know they're where they're supposed to be and everything fits like it's supposed to and everything's gonna play nice and jive and get along and all that noise. This way we've got a little, now we got a little play here if we need to adjust a little bit, just in case not everything's perfect because there's a chance with the way I do things, things could be a little crooked. I mean, it doesn't happen often, but it does, it does happen. It does happen often, actually. I'm just pre-planning for that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's try a little test fit here before we get them glued together. Oh yeah, I mean, that, that, looks, that looks good. That looks really good. Wish I had my welder in my hand right now. I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking. I'm gonna try and just see if I can do this by myself. Hold it and get her buzzed in here a little bit maybe. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You know, other than burning the whole car down. But I mean, that's the worst. So just for the record, I did that with my eyes closed. So that's why that, that went bad. I mean, I'm a bad welder, but that's that's why that one was so bad. No, I'll put my helmet on. Welder. I couldn't, I couldn't not weld. I, I couldn't not do the weld. I had to finish the weld. I couldn't pick the camera up, I'm sorry. But we got her tacked up there now. So that's that's a good thing. And they're through, and they come through on this side. Looks pretty good. Not rubbing any metal, no pressure on anything. One's low, one's high. Clear Clearance around the dipstick, perfect. We're gonna send it. <sighs> did, that, did that go well? No, 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 no it did not. There was a lot of cussing and swearing and cursing and pain. But she's welded up in there. She's not the prettiest, but it's done. I can't find the right angle to lay where it's not hurting and hold things out of the way and still see and not have my helmet hit crap. It's just, it was a lot of things going on at one time that I couldn't handle. And my GoPro died again. So we'll try a different memory card here. That's really got a lot of grinder burns on it. That's fine. So we got the controls hung up now. She's pretty much all wired out. I'll, I'll just jam all that up there and zip tie it in a big bundle. So that's all nice and put away. The lines go through where they're supposed to. I still need to tighten them up a little bit because they're, they're loose, but they're all through. Everything's where it needs to be. Now I'm switching gears to the outside here. I gotta get, I gotta get her plumbed. I gotta get, I gotta get the hose under the thing, the hose, the thing. They gotta go together. It's been a pretty basic install and so far I'm pretty happy with it. We'll see how it works as to whether I like it, like it or not. It comes with this control valve. I'm not, it, I think it shuts, it's like, a, I think it shuts the, the water from going into there on you. So if you turn your heat off, the water doesn't keep flowing through the heater core. 
heating it up in there when you didn't want it to. So that's cool. And I think it goes, I think this is my outlet here. I think this is my return. 100%, what was that? Oh, I broke another zip tie. No, oh, I, I need zip ties. Send zip ties, I'm in need. Just kidding, I'll buy some. Um, What was I saying now? I totally, totally squirreled that moment. Squirrel! What was I saying? I, I don't know, that's the way I'm gonna hook it up. Then I can start filling this all up with some fluid. We can get her up to temp, make sure nothing leaks. Maybe go for a drive, I don't know. We can try it, put the fenders on, the grill. Maybe turn the knobs in there and see if fans work or not. That'd be kind of cool. Let's go with that. Hoping this bottom one here just slips right on like a dream. Come on, baby. Get in there. Because it's there's not a lot of room to work down here. I don't know what that was. I'm sure it's not super important. Get on there. Why must everything be so stubborn? Maybe we'll just, you know, we'll lube her up a little bit with some lubrication. It probably isn't the approved method, but it's the method I'm using. Oh yeah, baby, go on there. Yeah, baby. Get on there for daddy. Okay, that was easy. We got her all plumbed. Hoses are on down there. This is that control valve I was talking about. That's all on. Into the new inlet and outlet. So we should be good there. I think I have it wired correctly. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't need ignition power. Like, so you have to have the key on to even run this thing. It just, it's wired directly to the battery. So, I mean, you could leave this on on accident, which kind of sucks. So I might look and see what I can do about that because I don't, I don't like that idea. There has to be a way to wire it so the key has to be on to operate. There has to be. Obviously, I know I could run the power source to a, an ignition side power, but I, for the amount of draw it might need, I don't, I don't want to do that either. So we'll just leave it like that for now and. We'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. But it's in, that's that's the important thing. The fan works, it's in. I gotta get some hose clamps so I can get it all buttoned up out there and start getting some fluid in her. Hell yeah. I'm excited to have heat, at least the thought of heat. I don't, I don't know how well it's gonna work. You know, there's a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of airflow through here. It's, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be like a Cadillac where it just all sealed up tight. But if I can keep that window clean, that's the goal. That's the goal right there. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror, it appears no friend to me. It's not 